Ham Garnet, this is eggs. And let's look at some more of my Monster High dolls again. All of these are from 2015. I've got Brand Boo Students and Boo York Boo York. Lots of boo going on. I am missing Batsy and uh, Astronova, but besides that I have everyone. All the new characters at least. Let's look at my Brand Boo Students. This is Kirsty Trollson, a troll from Goreway. And she is very video game themed. Even her eyes are pixelated. I love this. This is cute too. She's very cute. And yeah, look at her ears. <laughs> and she's one of the shorter ones. So is Mercedes over here. And this is EC Dawn Dancer. She is a deer spirit from Boo Hexaco, and her hair is very nice. All of them have very nice hair, except Mercedes, they for some reason gelled it a bunch here, so it's hardened. I don't know if that was really necessary. But yeah, her outfit, her face, I love her face. <laughs> yeah, she's very pretty. There is some controversy about her outfit. Uh, I only just recently learned about it, like a few days ago because of a comment, so I had to look up. And so, she is based off the Deer Woman, which is from which is from like the mythology of a few different Native American tribes. So Mattel wanted to try and include a little bit of all of them in her outfit, apparently. And some people do not like the mixing. So yeah, I don't know about all that. <laughs> I did see some comments from people saying that they are Native American and that they really, really loved it all. So I don't know, but now you know that. And yeah, let's look at those Hades. And a thing about her is that you probably don't want to look up what the Rat King is. She's the daughter of the Rat King and it, I tried typing in, in uh, Rat King character first, and you know, I didn't get any like classic movie monster results or anything like that, or what, what I got was like a character from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, gonna assume it's not him. <laughs> if you just look up Rat King, you get pictures of a whole bunch of dead rats tangled together by their tails. That is what you will get. That is what, I guess that's why. So you probably don't want to look that up. I mean, maybe you do if that interests you, but no, I, I, I'd rather not see it. Anyway, let's ignore everything I just said. Look at her cute little hands and her mousy ears, her tail. She is, it is nice after all the werewolves and werecats we got to get basically like a were mouse or a were rat. Very cute. Uh, her outfit I'm not thrilled with, not really so much because of how it looks, but you notice I don't have her on her stand. <laughs> Cause I can't get it to stay on here. So I gave her stand to a never after hide all instead. And you know, this isn't like staying in place. It wiggles all around. And I, I took her, I, I'm dumb and I took her crown off and I can't get back on. So, uh, maybe not my favorite doll, but the, the, the mouse thing is really cute. <laughs> And, yeah, I cannot, her stand does not hold on to her. This is Luna Matthews, the daughter of the Mothman. I think that was what she is. And, I mean, she's definitely a moth. And she is probably my favorite of my Boo York ones, for sure. Her pigtails are so cute. Her wings. I just realized that 
Okay, this is kind of a duh thing to me because obviously Monster High dolls have a lot of removable parts. I just recently figured out that her wings come off. I never tried taking her wings off. Why would I? But yeah, her wings, they move up and down. Oh, yeah. And I love her. Look at her eyes. I like the moth theme so much. Look at her, look at her arms, her hands. I don't care for this too much because it like moves around when I move her shoulders. Why did I do this? I messed it up. Yeah, her chest has like mothy bug details too. I don't want to look too much there. Her outfit's so cute. These attract dust for some reason though. I don't know why. I don't have a dust problem in the case that I'm keeping her in at all. And her, her, her shoes, boots, what do you even call this that's going on? Whatever, it's got big, this looks more like a butterfly to me. I guess that's a moth and a bunch of little moths all over. She's so neat. Okay, let me get her stand. <laughs> Just, oh no, this is crazy. I have broke another one on screen again. Oh no, that one's so much worse than the one I broke on the goodness. That's not gonna hold her on there, is it? Um, I don't think it is. She can still lean against. I believe that's working. Well, if I've done it again. Anyway. <laughs> this is LED. She is a different type of robot from uh, what Rebecca's team is, clearly. She got a power button on her forehead. Bonk your head and turn off. Her ears are like this. Her hair is really pretty colors, the blue and purple all mixed together. And look at her hands. Can you, yeah, there we go. That's neat. And her cape, her shoes are see-through, they're nice. looking so much for Astronova though. I missed her. I looked, I, I, man, I searched all the time for her. Every store. So anyway, that's all for this video. Uh, if you like it, it, yeah, if you liked it, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, my Patreon and Twitter are in the description. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.